the Orange Bowl, Georgia and Florida State, and holy mackerel, uh, what a bunch of opt-outs and whatnot for, for Florida State, just nuts. Georgia has a bunch of guys in the portal, but it's a bunch of backups and whatnot. Uh, they're probably going to have some guys opt out, but they have not as of as of right now. Uh, Georgia is a 14-point favorite, or 14-and-a-half-point favorite, excuse me, with a total of 44-and-a-half on it. Uh, this one's December 30th at 3 p.m. Central Time, of course, on ESPN. And let me go through the list. Uh, these are some of the players that Florida State will be without. This is per uh, Matt Zenitz on December 21st. Jordan Travis, obviously, with the injury, so it's going to be Tate Rodemaker. Trey Benson, the running back, the wide receivers, Coleman and Wilson, the tight end, uh, Bell, the defensive lineman, uh, Verse and Lovett, and the linebacker, DJ Lundy, who's in the transfer portal. Whoa. Whoa. That's uh, that's rough. That's rough. All right, let's pull it up. Let's take a look at the numbers. Full season numbers would have Florida State favored by six if they had their full allotment of players. <laughs> uh, and a lot of that has to do with plays per game, um, success, like, or not success, but like PPA margin, stuff like that. Um, I... I want, sometimes I wonder about my model, you know? Let's look at the last six weeks. Last six weeks would have Florida State favored by just over three. It, it, we will never get to a point where Florida State is favored in this game, especially with the opt-outs, right? And even if Georgia has a bunch of dudes opt-out as well, it's not going to matter. So uh, looking at this, the, there's no number that's going to matter here. The, the Florida State defense has shown to be elite, absolutely elite. They are number one in the country in defensive success rate allowed over the past six weeks. Number two in passing success, number six in rushing success. Uh, Georgia's offense, like they have gotten pretty good at running the ball, uh, certainly better once they got their running backs back and whatnot. Uh, their offensive line, pretty good, number 37 in offensive line yards. Uh, the issue is Florida State's defense is number five, uh, stuff rate, Florida State's defense number four, Georgia number 74. Like standard downs PPA, is Georgia going to be able to stay ahead of the chains? Who knows? Uh, Florida State was number two in five factors plus talent rank, and Georgia was number six. But it, again, Florida State's going to have all these players out. I don't think that they care. I don't think their fans care. Typically, I would give Florida State a home field advantage for being in the Orange Bowl, I don't think they can. They got bigger fish to fry right now. They got bigger things going on. So, you know, I I think the only way you can go is Georgia, right? Like, I, it's a it, – now, here's the thing. It's a total in the 40s and a double-digit spread that typically points you towards the underdog. But do you trust Tate Rodemaker against this defense? Um, do you – do you think that Carson Beck isn't going to come out and just throw all over Florida State? Like, I, I don't know. I'm going to take Georgia. Uh, but, like, that just feels like a ton of points. And without knowing who's actually going to suit up for Florida State, I mean, it's it's impossible to, to bet on the Knowles because, like, we've seen Georgia in this position. Uh, they thought that they were in back in, like, 2018 or whatever it was, and they go to the Sugar Bowl and just get blasted by Texas who was not that good. Uh, now, I think that Georgia wants to continue winning. Like They took their first loss in like 30 games against Alabama. I think they're still going to show up here. Like I, This is not a deflating loss for Georgia. Florida State won every game and still were told that they weren't good enough, and now like none of their dudes are playing. So give me Georgia minus the 14 and a half on this. Uh, just wild. Thanks for listening to Winning Cures Everything. Make sure and follow me on Twitter, at GaryWCE. If you want to toss in a question, you can email me, Gary, at winningcureseverything.com. Make sure and hit that subscribe button, and we'll see you next time.